Hey guys, this is Juan from Design for Ventures, and today I'm going to show you how to set up um, something like this uh, animated characters. Uh, was a question in a forum, uh, and I thought I would show you how to do it. Uh, this kind of animation is really easy to do with Keyshape and you can export this as SVG and insert it in your website or whatever. Uh, it's called stroke-offset animation uh, and you can do a lot of cool stuff with this. So, uh, first we begin in sketch and I have done this kind of uh, character template. Then you can just copy this artboard, this page, and you can do all sorts of typefaces. So first of all, you have a artboard that is 128 by 128. Uh, I just picked that size. Uh, I don't know why. And you insert the character here, and you choose the typeface. Uh, and this is line animation. So the first thing I do is I have this copied thing here, and I have converted this to outlines. Uh, this is already done here, but you right click here and you to turn convert to outlines. After that, we should name the artboard as the character. D. We should make the artboard exportable as SVG. This is important. Not this one, but the artboard. That way you will maintain uh, the spacing uh, and it will also make a cleaner SVG. So uh, after that we go to borders and we take the same fill here and apply it to the border and I think I have chosen center as position yeah uh, and then you can also choose let me see this yeah I just usually check this one and this one out because uh, in key shape uh, you get like an error if you don't do this uh, you can do this in key shape also actually so and this is one pixel line uh, and after that we export this one and then in key shape it looks like uh, this when done so let's just take this one the character the D character Roboto slab light and just drop it key shape and then you should put something else here path is not a good name uh, especially if you have a lot of these on your on the same uh, website and same page that uh, you will get an error they will not animate so we we should follow our convention of saying so this is should be D D animated like that and we go to advanced stroke here and you see this uh, this is looks nice this is the really important thing here this one total path length you pick this value Command C, you copy and you put it in dash. You just do this and dash and enter that again. And here it's the same value. And what happens is it disappears. You press that one, auto keyframing. You go to offset again. You put zero. And voila, you have an animation, a very fast animation. So maybe you want this to be like this. Uh, another cool thing is you can just untick this one first. Uh, you can go and check out where is the start node of this this thing here. So uh, it's there, you see. So it starts animating from that little arrow there, and maybe I don't want that. Maybe I want this to be the start in point. So set start node node and look what happens then it starts animating from there so this goes really fast so let's see what I have done here I did four seconds of it so let's drag this one to four much nicer yes so nice 
And uh, maybe you want it like this, but I think this is uh, a boring animation path, so I uh, to do like that. And you see, this is a very straight line, really boring. So I just do like this and take that one and that one. You see, nice easing is out, is out curve like that, and then you can just can do whatever you want here. Maybe you want it to be something like this. Ooh, then it takes a very long time before it starts, but let's just keep things simple. And I press that one and that one, and that's it. And I do all the, these letters the same way. So, and let's save this. So this is D, Alt, 1. And then maybe we want to do something like this. We want to make something like have the the outline already filled with light gray, and then you fill it with darker color. And then of course you can change all the colors here to whatever you want. You can change them in code or in key shape. So let's see. Let's do like this. We just duplicate the animated character, put it behind. We should call it uh, filled instead. Uh, there it is. Let's change the color. Uh, no, one thing you will need to take away all the animations. Take away the dash to zero, none, and take away to. Uh, this one doesn't matter actually, but you should erase the animation of the filled layer because you want this one to be uh, light gray or something else uh, let me take that one there and let's do this there so something like that boom nothing in your education